Uh, this is a tutorial for uh, beginning Blender users. I'm using a uh, version 2.63a here and we're just going to set up a simple particle system. I'll show you what it does. It just launches some particles and creates a simple explosion. This is a very uh, basic way to do it, but it's a good way to learn some of the basics of getting around Blender. And I'll give you an idea here. Let's see. You can see it. This is actually uh, good for those of you who follow our math lessons as well because you can see here this curve that is following. It's a parabolic curve. It's a second degree, degree equation actually. And uh, But we'll just go through the whole setup and so you, you'll see how it's done. So let's just stop this and we're just going to clear it. We'll start it right from the beginning. We'll just get a new... And so you'll see it right from the beginning. So first thing I want to do is I'll just I'll clear that cube, hit the X button, I'll delete it. Shift A, I'll get a new mesh plane like this, put it on here. I'll scale this up. S button, I can scale it way out like that. So now I have a basic surface to work with like that. And then maybe I'll extend it further out in this direction, which you can see is the Y direction here. So I'll hit key, the scale key, I meant S key for scale and then Y. All right, so now I've scaled it out in the Y direction like this. Then I'm going to put uh, another little plane in here for the, it'll be our launcher. And so I'll just set him, let's see, I'll get another plane like this, and I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees. I'm not sure exactly which way it's going to point yet, but so I'll hit the rotate button, R, then X, and I'll actually type in 90 like this, just for starters, and hit return. Grab the arrow, drop him down so he's sitting up here, and maybe I'll scale him down just a little bit too, like this. So here's our basics. Then for here, let's set up a... Uh, I'm just going to send it out here. Maybe I'll tilt it up a little bit. So I'll just rotate it on the x-axis. Rotate it on x. So like that. So it's tilting up. And so now let's grab a particle system. I'll get rid of this tool toolbar over here real quick. So you can see the particles over here. There's the particle button right there. And I'll add a particle system. We'll just We'll just leave the default settings for the moment and I'll just crank up the normal here so this is the basically the intensity that the particles will emit from the face of the surface at this point and I'll try it with Alt-A so we see it's facing the other direction so let me rotate this guy about like that and I'll try it again so he's kicking out so he's so in this case so the plane surface we need a collision for this so I'll hit collision we'll just use the default uh, values for the moment. We'll try it again and there they go. So they're starting to kick out here and they're dying out at this location so we'll go back to the particle and we'll increase the lifetime you know maybe this far like this and we're going to crank up the rate at which it kicks it out like this. Well that doesn't really look, like, look much of a launcher so what we need to do is we'll instead of the particles starting and stopping at frame 1 ending at 200 Let's just set them so they just kick out, you say maybe frame 90 and end at frame 100 like this. All right, so then when they fire off, it'll only be at this frame 90 here. You'll see when it comes around. So there's a bunch of them kicking out, but we really want to crank them out. So we're going to crank them out like that, and we're going to do it over a even... Uh, Yep, there we go. So maybe not quite that fast. We're just getting that idea. All right, so now um, I'll shrink this guy down a little bit. And we don't really need that many particles. All right, so then in the uh, other case, what I had done, I had put in a sphere. And so we'll do just the same thing. I'll just add a sphere over here in this area. Uh, where is that guy? Mesh. There's my UV sphere like that. And why I said this is very basic is because really what we're doing is we're just approximating a collision in this case and we're just going to count the frames as it goes. So in this case it's kicking out particles but we want to kick out uh, objects that 
can be shaded and so they can have light and shadows and things like that and a particle by itself is not going to be able to cast a shadow so uh, we'll come back to this sphere in a second so let's actually put a up here we'll just add a little cube and I'll scale it down so he's just not in the scene so much and then I'll grab the particle emitter and over in here down at the bottom we have it's using a halo but let's hit the object button and that cube is it's labeled cube like this so we'll click in this box and we'll grab the cube as so that links it to the particle so now you can see it's actually kicking out if we look in close when it comes by in fact let's uh let's increase this so it does we don't see as many frames the whole way through so it just repeats quicker so you can see the you can see a bunch of cubes I'll slow it down in case you can't see it like that maybe so you can see it like this I'll slow it down even more alright so it's actually a bunch of cubes there you'll be able to see it now hitting the surface like that alright so now next thing uh, to do is uh, well earlier versions of Blender back in say 2.49 had uh, reactor particles where you actually would take the particles and they would interact with the surface and actually cause the surface to explode and in this case we're just gonna simulate that effect and there's actually other ways we can do this in Blender as well but for this introductory tutorial we'll just start with a kind of a simulation so what we'll do is we'll crank up the crank it out let's see so I'm going to approximate where this guy is actually hitting so I'll just look at it from above let's see it needs to be over here like that and then from the side We'll zoom in so approximately like that something like that yep it seems to be passing through the surface at this point let's see yep it does so then really what we're doing is we're just looking for the rate let's uh, pause the animation I'll set the frames back here and I'm just going to step through the animation here I'll zoom in approximately at frame 110 it hits the surface of the sphere alright so now for the sphere we're gonna add a particle system to it as well oops gotta pause that let's see Yeah, where are my particles? Where is my part? There it is. There's my particle system. So, and we won't need ne use near as many. And in fact, what you want to try and do is match the number of particles to the number of faces on the surface of the sphere. But we're not going to count that right now. We're just going to approximate that, and then we're going to go over to the modifiers, object modifier, and we're going to add a an explode modifier as well. So then that'll explode the faces, and. Uh, let's go over to here and we're going to make these random for these particles. Now let's see what happens when we hit that. So it is the particles running but now what do we say that was at 110 so on the particles for the sphere we're going to start it at 110 and we'll end it at say 112. And let's see, did we get the explode modifier? No, we didn't do something right here. Let's see. Add modifier. I thought I added an explode modifier. There's the explode modifier. Like that. And then for the particles, we're going to crank up the normals like this for this guy. Alright, so let's zoom out. And then as you see, there's our little particle launcher here on the side 
like this and then it simulates the explosion as it goes. Now that's not really realistically from a physics point of view because you know s more particles should be going in that direction as well. But this is just an introductory tutorial on how you do it because a lot of times you can simulate animations and it works just fine. All right, so the last thing we'll do is we'll set up a few lights because that really can help bring the scene to light. So first I'll give this a color down here. Make it some kind of green, greenish yellow kind of surface like that. I'll turn down the specularity on it so it's not so shiny because I'm going to add some lights. Up here I'm going to add a, a lamp. I'm going to add a uh, spot lamp. Spot lamps cast shadows. Then, uh, then I'll rotate that lamp. Let me see. Let's look at that from above. And I'll rotate it just in this view like that move him back just a little bit kind of get an idea and then I'll make a copy of this lamp as well move him over here rotate him on the z-axis I'll point him this way as well and really what we want to do is see the effects of this lamp but we're really not seeing much yet let me see and that's because you need to use uh, first one of the things you do you have to be in texture mode and when you go into texture mode, you see it doesn't really do anything. So we'll go back to solid mode for a second. But in order to change it, we need to use the shaders. So you need to actually change this Blender render over here to uh, the Blender game engine for a minute. Seems kind of strange, but it's... And then go into the scene button here. Or not the scene button, the, uh, the render button and hit this GSL GLSL shaders and then you can go back to the texture mode and then it casts the shadows for you like this so then you get better lighting and that really starts helping to bring your scene to life like that alright let's make this different color let's make this guy I don't know some kind of bluish color or reddish maybe easy to see like that just highlight that on the camera so you can see the rest of it. And there you go. You have a basic particle launcher and a little particle explosion. So it's there's a lot of little tricks you can do in animation, and this is one of them. And actually, I use it for certain things, but um, I'll run through a whole series of animation tests here in the future that go in conjunction with our uh, math videos as well. So you'll learn a little bit of math. The math really helps when you come back and set these things up as well. So... Um, well, that's it for now. Hope you learned a little bit from it and hope to see some of your animations in the future. All right, we'll see you next time.